Hello, my name is Ian, VK5 Zulu Delta, and I thought I'd make a short video showing how I use a single dish for four different millimeter wave transverters which operate on 24, 47, 76, and 122 gigahertz. The dish I'm using is a 40 centimeter steel dish, which was originally part of a 5 gigahertz data link. On the back I fitted an aluminium cradle and that's where the transverters sit and above it is a plate where the FT817 IF radio can sit. This is how it looks with the FT817 IF radio sitting on the top shelf. I've also got a 10 megahertz reference oscillator on the side here. The transverters are all built into a common size die cast box like this one. This is the 24 gigahertz transverter. Feed horn at the front and connections, switches, etc. on the back end. To put the transverter into this dish we just slide it into the cradle there. Connect up DC power. Connect the 10 meg reference and IF coaxes, both BNC connectors. Turn it on and we're ready to go. To change bands, so we want to go to 47 gigahertz next. Turn that one off. Disconnect the coaxes and the DC power. We have a little catch here, spring loaded catch that I've fitted to stop the transverter falling out if you accidentally tip the dish up like that. So to remove the transverter, hold the clip down, slide that one out. This is the 47 gigahertz unit, exactly the same size box. This one has the meter on the top because if you saw the inside, it doesn't fit here. And the uh, coaxial connectors are on the side of this unit as well. So that slides into the cradle. The coax connectors go on the IF. The 10 meg reference. DC power. Turn it on and we are good to go on 47 gigahertz. Again, to change to 76, switch off, disconnect DC and RF cables, release the catch, slide out the transverter. This is the 76 gigahertz transverter, again, exactly the same box. Slide it into the cradle, connect DC power, connect the 10 megahertz reference coax, connect the IF coax, switch it on and we're ready to go. Same process for the 122 gigahertz transverter which is in this box here, I won't bother to put that in at the moment. This has the advantage that you can line up the system on 24 gigs. Once you've got it set right, you can lock off the antenna in the correct azimuth and elevation position and then swap the transverters going up through the bands. You might have to do a minor tweak on the uh, direction of the antenna just to peak it, but generally you'll be spot on each time. So uh, it makes life a lot easier when you actually get up to 122 gigs and the problem of aiming the antenna. One final item which is a must for all microwave operations is an effective shield against electromagnetic radiation and I have my own custom designed patented version which is this. It sits on top there held on with a single wing nut and that keeps the sunshine from cooking the FT817 underneath. Thanks.